Mama? What are you doing? I know it's in here somewhere. You've hidden it. Grandma, that's my private stuff. Mm. What's that? Nothing. It's... Nan left it for me. Hey, where's she gone? She's dead, Grandma. You were at the funeral. Was I? And it was a chance for schools or youth theatres to get involved in a project that the Billy Elliot production company have launched. And it's first time ever. They'd never done it. Um, it was their kind of first round of giving an adapted youth script of the Billy Elliot West End show. Do you really not remember our granddad? Of course I do. <laughs> How could I forget your granddad, Billy? We were married 33 years. So what was he like like? And we were selected. And 115 schools, youth theatres and primary schools were selected across the country. And that selection process allowed myself and Jason Housecroft and a couple of teachers from here and from Kevix to go up to London for a weekend. And that's where we met the writer, the musical director, one of the Billy Elliots. And that weekend was fantastic. And it was that that decided, kind of for us anyway, we wanted to go to the second round. That was one scene, ten minutes, and we chose the grandma scene. And our musical director, Nicola Britton, said it was one of the simplest of tunes, but perhaps in the short amount of time we had, which was, I think, three weeks, we could get a cast together, we could get all the students involved as much as possible and put this scene. And we did, and it was filmed beautifully by Mr Bryant, and we sent it off and it's been selected to perform at the Birmingham Repertory Theatre. Um, you just do something to, you just need something to take you into the song. At the moment it's like, uh, I'm going to stand here and the song. And we kind of thought that was the end of the road. We thought there's no way we're going to be selected now for the West End. And it was a little bit unclear halfway through, how were they now going to select from these regional theatre performances, ours was the Birmingham Rep, and I just got a phone call. And it came out of the blue. I was walking across the car park, answered as you do, and it was Helen from London saying, we would like you to come to the gala at the West End to perform not only our grandma scene, which she'd seen on the DVD, but also another scene where Billy goes to an audition at the Royal Ballet. So we were blown away. And this whole journey, if you like, has been not only fantastic for Coombs Head students, but also for Kevix, because it's, the casting was split down the middle. Um, make it a little bit tinier for our and you end up facing the same direction, downstairs um, I found out, I think it was on a, a Tuesday, and there was an embargo put on it until obviously everybody was told. And then we released it to the students and they leapt from their seats. Indeed. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are going to the West End! <laughs> No, you've caught me right at the uh, logistical nightmare of trying to organise taking, I think, 82, all in that staff as well, um, 82 of us up to Birmingham and up to London. So we go to Birmingham on the 12th of June and the gala is on the 17th and 18th of July. So the students are going to be exhausted. They're doing six shows, one of a matinee, and then there's three days break and they go up to London. <laughs> We should never have married. Of that, I'm quite clear. He spent the housekeeping money on whiskey. I think we've actually started to tap into some, a need for Newton Abbott and Team Bridge. Um, these students are incredible in terms of their stamina, their dedication, their commitment, and their desire to be part of a bigger company of actors. And both Jason and myself are really keen to keep this going. And whether that's in a form of a youth theatre that's joined through the colleges and then open to other colleges, it might be that we kind of take a break and then launch another project and keep searching for competitions. I know for myself that Sam Valden, who's playing Billy Elliot, didn't tap. Two weeks before the auditions, he got hold of Jess Hedge, who's a Year 9 student, and he learned how to tap. He learned a tap sequence for the audition. And I'm watching in front of my eyes his transformation. 
And just to see somebody blossom through this project, I think, is bigger than just one Billy Elliot show. Mm -hmm. So there's hopes, I think, for a lot of students involved that they will now see it can happen. And yes, you do live in Devon, and yes, you don't have regular visits to London, maybe, but there's no stopping us. And he'd hold me tight. He was air, he was water, he was breath, he was light, and he would hold me there with all his might. And it was bliss for an hour or so. 